Let's go gambling! Aw, oh, dang it! 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 So, in the last video, you saw Smirking Cat Saba go 6 and 0. What you didn't see was the showcase tournament where he went 3 and 2. So, what went wrong? The angle at which my wedge was positioned allowed every single fucking horizontal in the tournament to take a free one way ticket straight into my PLA arm. This is just not optimal. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this by- Hello, prize money. Goodbye, prize money. Uh, the new angle of the wedge should hopefully hit the horizontals upwards instead of directly into my arm this time. Now, the arm has been TLA for two events, and for two events, it has shattered with incredible ease. The new arms will be made out of CNC UHMW. Compared to PLA, UHMW should provide much more tensile strength. I've even filled in a hole to hopefully provide some structural integrity in the part. Hopefully this makes it to where the arm won't snap with one blow. Now, for the past two events, my top play has also been in PLA. PLA is just not rigid enough for the new drive system. When my belt applies pressure to the front wheels, the front half of my chassis tends to bend backwards. To hopefully prevent this from happening, I've made a new carbon fiber top plate. It's way more rigid than the usual PLA and will hopefully just withstand more damage. Now one mistake that I actually have with the top plate is that the carbon fiber reaches the end of the chassis allowing it to be hit. This can create carbon fiber splinters, and to get around this, I will simply just thug it out. Now the saws that I use are pretty great. They cut through TPU as if it were butter. However, they can't really do much damage to metal. The upgrade I'm gonna bring to the saw will most likely just be a new mounting solution, courtesy of Julia. I'm also gonna steal the saw that he used. My hope is that with this combination, I can maybe cut through some stronger top plates. The forks that I used in my last event were great, but they're honestly kind of heavy and overkill. This time, I'll be running fully AR500 forks with hooks on the top. I've also made my mounts a bit stronger. Hopefully, this will prevent other bots from getting too close to my chassis and doing some potential damage. 